Hi, I'm Katya. I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> I missed myself. And on behalf of YouTube viewers all around the world, I would like to offer a hearty, heartfelt, warm welcome back to me. It's been a long, hard, challenging road, but a good one. I got into some trouble, had a lot of success. I think the important thing is that it led me back here to me. I am so excited to tell you about my brand new YouTube series. It's called Drag 101, and it's the accumulation of years and years of drag experience, all synthesized and delivered into very manageably short video clips to teach you the ins and outs, the where's and what's, the who's and why's of drag queen cross-dressing female impersonation business. I can't tell you how many times I've received messages on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. How do I do drag? What should my drag name be? Can you be my drag mom? The answer to all those questions is of course, absolutely not. But I'm gonna put all of these questions to the test and to rest by answering them. Now I know what you're saying. What makes me out of all the drag queens in the world, out of all, even the drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race, what makes me qualified to teach you how to do drag? Well, um, I pay my taxes. I went to college and I'm a woman. In this series, I'm going to answer all of your annoying questions about drag. How do I tuck my penis back? How do I put on a wig? How do I prevent it from falling off? How should I go about propositioning a man in drag? How do I squeeze my size 13 feet in a pair of eight and a half pumps? How to dance, how to perform with confidence, how to perform with a staph infection. How do I diversify my drag portfolio without any previous knowledge of the money markets? How do I choose a drag name? How do I find a booking? How much do I charge for booking? Can I dress in drag to a funeral? Should I dress in drag at my funeral? <laughs> how to promote and market yourself in the digital age? How do I manage the discrepancy between what I want to be and who I really am? <sighs> how to have a successful erotic encounter in drag without compromising your morals, Christianity, or physical safety. And of course, I'll teach you how to figure out if you're getting the attention you deserve from your pets. All these questions will be answered in vivid, lurid, lascivious detail with some illustrations, anecdotes, and some prizes. No prizes. So stay tuned, Drag 101 coming soon to a computer near you. It's gonna change your life in a very mild way um, for at least five minutes. And um, I think you're gonna love it. I don't, um, but it's, it's, you know, it's gonna be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be great. It's gonna be good. I love you. Episode one premieres next week, probably Wednesday, maybe another day, at the morning, sometime in the morning. Depends on where you live. But the most important thing is you subscribe to the channel and then you get a notification. You log on to the information superhighway, open up your email, and there it is. You click the link, you watch the video. Learn something, feel something, watch something. Me, on Drag 101, next week, ABC. Drag 101 with Katya, every Tuesday and Thursday on YouTube.